Hello, this is a uh, sample of textured paintings that I made on wood slices and as you can see there's a lot of uh, texture and a lot of paint in there. Hi, I'm Nada Diwan. Welcome to my studio. As you can see I paint a lot of acrylic paintings with uh, heavy texture and the first thing that they ask me uh, people ask me, how do you achieve uh, this result? How do you have so much texture in your painting? What do you do? So today I'm going to show you one of the methods to achieve this purpose. And uh, we're going to start with a blue bonnet painting using only tubes without brushes. And the result will be something like that. So I'm at the Michael store and they have plenty of acrylic colors. That's what I need. They have basics, and they have artist loft, and uh, they have greens and blues, and uh, this is what I need to get. This is my favorite section. I will get three greens and two blues. So these are our colors. Light, dark blue, light, medium, and dark green, white, and bronze yellow. I start with the background, wet the brush well before, put some paint, bronze yellow, and white, and mix it on top of the canvas. So we're going to cover the canva, give it a good coverage of lights and darks. I'm going to have to use some water because acrylic paint dries very fast. Just cover it this way, the way you like in the direction that you like, it doesn't matter. Just cover the whole canvas. This brush is fantastic for the covering large areas and small areas too. There, that should be enough. It's time to do the stems of the blue bonnets and I'm going to use a medium green for that. And you can do as many as you like. I will use the ultramarine blue to make the blue bonnets, the tops of the blue bonnets. Directly from the tube, you squeeze a few drops. On each stem, Try to make them round. I'm using now the light blue violet to highlight the blue bonnets. It's 
see how beautiful they are they just pop out now because we have a dark blue background you don't have to be accurate everything works by itself just squeeze those tubes no paint painting brushes or anything like that just the paint from the tube Now these blue bonnets, they have a white tip, so I'm going to use the white color, any white color, and you do a white tip. Now those blue bonnets have leaves. They're usually low, and they are like fingers, like a palm of a hand. One more here. They're beautiful flowers and they grow all over Texas in March and April. Most amazing landscape at that time. I'm going to add some more grass with that dark green. This is sap green. Just because I like it more grassy here, at the bottom at least. If you don't like it, you don't have to do that. Your blue bonnets are almost done. Now you can add some highlights with uh, this uh, green yellow. Maybe on the leaves. You decide. Do you want them? You 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 put them. If you don't want them, you don't have to. It's just fun to add things like that, look. It creates more perspective, more depth. The painting is done. What a beautiful painting. We did it in a very short period of time. Uh, just squeezing the paint out of the tube. Uh, you can add more blue bonnets if you like somewhere here and uh, just leave this painting and do not touch the paint at all just leave it two days or three days until it dries up and then you can hang it thank you for watching thank you for watching this was a fun project for me and it should be a fun project for you. It takes only about 10 minutes to make a painting like that. Textured acrylic painting. I look forward to make some more and I expect you to uh, paint with uh, your family, your uh, children, your grandchildren, as I do that all the time. And they will have so much fun. Thank you for watching and good luck. Happy painting.